welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is going to be a grocery haul. I just wanted to talk to you for a couple of minutes at the beginning of this video and say thank you so much for all the support and the great feedback and comments that we got on our last results video. It really warms our hearts that you guys are in this with us together. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say but it was very nice to see all of that. It is definitely very helpful along this you know, journey to have a great support system, and we definitely do with you guys, so thank you so much. I also wanted to say thank you to my sister, Jamie. She did go to the Buy Me A Coffee website and bought me five coffees. If you don't know what that is, the link is down below. It's just a way to kind of help and support the channel um it is a monetary donation but it is definitely appreciated so thank you so much jamie i appreciate that very much and i love you too um the other thing was heidi what heidi did i have mentioned her before she comments on pretty much every video we are actually technically besties now but um she received her mission keto um but first coffee shirt and she did an unboxing on her YouTube channel. I know some of you have already seen it and it is hysterical. She has got a personality that is just so much fun, bubbly and fun to watch. I mean, who else? I wouldn't hang out with any other kind of person, right? A bubbly fun person. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna link her video down below because it was very sweet. I wanted to share it and I also make sure you go and check her channel out and subscribe. Um, that's what we're here for to help support each other. She's on a journey as well, but, um, she actually did get a shirt gifted by Andy and I, because she came up with that first little saying, uh, mission keto, but first coffee. And when we heard it, we were just like, no brainer, right? I've got coffee here. Uh, I've got this. I, you know, oh, I've even got a candle that says, but first coffee. So it was like a no brainer. So we figured as a uh, an appreciation to her we would gift her that shirt and she got it and she loves it so make sure you check that video out it is adorable um the only other thing is oh this is something interesting and let me know what you think well or you don't have to it's no big deal but somebody had commented and mentioned that they thought it was very neat that andy and i are both on the same journey but doing different things um, so I just thought that was really neat. And I'm like, maybe I should make this part of my intro. Part of my tagline is we're both doing this weight loss thing, doing it the right way, the healthy way, but in different ways. So we can be a resource for people and we can help, you know, if you are like me and don't care for meat that much, you guys know, I don't eat a lot of meat and uh, carnivore or BBBE is not your thing and you're still looking to, to lose some weight, kind of see what I'm doing and see how that can help you. And then if you do love meat and you know, that is like your primary, you love meat, definitely go Andy's route. So I think both of them are very, a healthy way. They're both derived from the same basic principles, no sugar and almost no carbs, especially in the carnivore realm of it, right? So that was just interesting. I knew it, but when somebody actually put it out there, I was like, man, that is so true. So you get the both, the best, I can't talk. You get the best of both worlds watching this channel, right? So let everyone know, let everyone know about Mission Keto. Guys, we are so excited to grow this channel and uh, I, we really want to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. And that's like three months, three months. We need to get over 3000. It's, it's going to be tough. It really is. But, um, I think with your help, we can do it. So please, please. I know you guys share and like, and all of that stuff all the time, but any kind of interaction you can do sharing videos that would definitely help. I'm having a Starbucks coffee. If you saw this, I want you guys to know that I am having a keto. It's a clean one. I'm making a TikTok on it too, but it is a venti iced coffee. I'm super simple. They have sugar-free syrups there that you can use, but I'm simple. Um, this is no classic. I always say no classic because that's gonna alleviate any of that extra garbage that we don't want. I even said no milk because last time it said no classic. It, I still saw the word milk on there and I'm not sure if it was 
taken out or not. So this one looks good. And then they put three stevia packets, which is the whole earth brand, which is not bad. And then light heavy cream. You can still see all the cream in the bottom. This is not light heavy cream, but I'm all about the cream. So that's okay. So that is what I get. Let me know down below what you guys do down below. I sometimes every once in a while, I might get like a sugar-free vanilla or something, but I'm really happy with this. And you could take it one step further and put one of these in your purse or in your car and have that readily available if you don't like what they have. So that's it. We'll get into the grocery haul, but I thought since I showed this, I might want to let you know what I'm having because it's keto. Let's see what I got at the store. All right. So the first part of my grocery haul, this is everything that I got at all these. Um, I had to do it in two different, um, two different clips this time, but just the way things happen, but I didn't buy flowers, but these are, um, Jordan's boyfriend got them for her. Wasn't that sweet? They're so pretty. But anyways, um, here's everything we got. Got Jordan some of her white cheddar cheese popcorn. I tried this. This is the Aldi brand. It's very, she actually liked it better than the smart popcorn. So if that's something that you like, <laughs> here's something new we got. I didn't get a chuck roast this week because they were out of them. They must be watching my videos and everybody snatched them all up because they're all gone. Just kidding. But I thought about getting a corned beef brisket, not just for Andy. I actually really love this also. Um, they are kind of pricey. This one, it's $5.79 a pound and it is zero carbs. These are pretty fatty. See, it's 14 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein. Um, they do come with the seasoning packet in there, but you just kind of put that in the water with it while it boils. So I just thought this would be a little variety for him to kind of have something to eat. And he's really not complaining by any means, but I think still variety is nice, right? So I also got another thing of bacon. Just, I think I only have like one or two left, but we use it for so much. Um, got him some more ground beef also. This, how much is this running? $4.79 a pound. And there's like two, 2.46. So about two and a half. I'll probably put that into two different baggies in the freezer. Got some blueberries. I really don't know why. I was just like, it was on, it was like $2.49 for this. It just looked good and refreshing and I wanted it. So I also got some water. There was one bag left of these chicken wings. These are pretty good. I know Lindy from Paleo Barbie Does Keto mentioned that she really likes these too on one of my hauls. And I was like, you know what? I mean, what's the difference? It's chicken wings. There's actually a difference. These are really very meaty compared to those Costco ones that I got. There was not as much meat on them. And so he gets about two meals out of this one big bag. Um, he was also craving some scallops. And remember I got these last time and I was like, these don't look very big and they say jumbo. These are a little bit bigger. This is more of what I was talking about. Scallops are a little more expensive. This was $13.99, but we only do it every once in a while and it's just something different. And he really loves those too. Um, got a couple of blocks of cheese for me to shred up for my meal prep this week. Um, Trine gave me this idea, one of my subscribers. She was like, get some more tofu. And I haven't had it in a while. So I did get some because I love frying it up just like that right there. And I think I'll be making, I have some cauliflower rice in the freezer. I think I'll be making some tofu fried rice with the cauliflower rice and it is delicious. I've made it before on my channel, but maybe I'll make it in my what I eat in a day because it tastes exactly like rice. The way you season it up, that's all that matters to make cauliflower rice edible. <laughs> um, I got some more butter because I'm thinking about making some brown butter and putting it into like bites for Andy. Just something different again, but I've never had that and I hear that it's very delicious. I was just watching um, Ketogenic Woman, um, Anita's channel, and she was showing how to make brown butter. And you need to check that video out because if you've never made it, she literally has a timer going the whole time and tells you basically how long it's gonna take. So you at least have an idea to gauge what you're doing and when you should start looking for the color because it's like i've heard that if 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 it goes too much it burns really fast and you don't want to waste your money burning your butter right um i also got some wild caught shrimp this is the second week in a row that i've been that they've not had the argentine red shrimp that i like but that's okay this was wild caught i still got it this just happened to be on clearance one of their clearance candles and i love all these candles. They are 
They smell so good. They smell up the house. This was like a dollar uh, 79, I think, normally 249. So what a difference from Bath and Body Works, right? I love Bath and Body Works candles, but I'm gonna save some money. I'm gonna get it there. Um, I got some of this. This is cold smoked Atlantic salmon deli slice. I've never tried this kind of thing before and it wasn't too expensive. It was $4.99 for this. So I thought I would try it. And I really love salmon. There's no carbs, great protein, good fat. Um, you know, it looks like it has decent, um, oh look, it contains salmon. I'm so glad. <laughs> um, serving suggestion. I really liked this idea. I mean, I'm not going to have bagels, but I was like, what would I have this with? And I'm not going to have pasta either, but capers sounds really good. And then pasta, well, pasta sounds really good, but salads, salads is what I'll do. But yeah, see that pasta. Ooh. I also thought this would be something different for Andy too. I actually really love this also. It's a little pricier. There is a little bit of like natural flavors and it's cured with sugar and all of that. But some of that stuff, I mean, just like the bacon. So it's not a big, big concern of ours, but no carbs in it. But you fry this up and it pretty much just a different way to kind of have bacon. It's very salty. It's just delicious. So that is everything that we got at Aldi's. Next, I'll show you what we got at the next store. I'm not sure which one I'm going to yet, so I don't know. All right, so I did end up going to the second store, going to Publix. Oh, no, no one's here. And see, as, I mean, not a big grocery haul this week, but I like that because I'm gonna try to use a lot of the stuff that's in the fridge and freezer already. Um, I got Jordan some more of her bread. She likes this one. I have some of the pasta that I bought her a couple weeks ago and they were buy one, get one free. And I'm gonna fix her the Alfredo with the pasta. She likes having those for lunch. And she wanted some of these. She's not a big electrolyte girl. She doesn't like the salty taste. So even though I think it tastes the same, but anyways, so she wanted some Gatorade Zero. Got some carpet cleaner for pets, not for Ralphie. It's for the cats, ha <laughs> ha. I did get Ralphie some dog food and Got myself some of this Spindrift. I don't get this a whole lot. It is probably one of my favorites, but I haven't tried the Blood Orange Tangerine. Have you guys tried it down below? Let me know. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I imagine it's gonna be delicious. I got some more eggs. We needed some, and these are the pasture-raised. I splurged today and got pasture-raised eggs. They actually look really good. Oop, that one's cracked. Hmm, okay. Um, I got some pumpkin pie spice and I should have switched it around. Some pure pumpkin. We're getting up on the season, right? But I will tell you a secret. I saw Low Carb Love make some pumpkin cream cheese muffins. They're supposed to be like the Starbucks ones that I've never had, but I love pumpkin and cheesecake, so, or cream cheese. So I'm gonna make them and we're gonna see what I think of them. So stay tuned if you're interested. I'll probably do just a video of just that itself because, just because. Um, I got some bologna. Ah. I know it's not the best thing. The ingredients are crap, but it's one carb per slice. I really love rolling up, you know, putting some mustard in it and rolling it up and eating it. And every once in a while I do that. One day this week I am going to make, I think I told you the tofu fried rice. Um, I like to put a little bit of peas and carrots in it. So it's a little, uh, they're a little higher carb, 24 carbs, but how many... You'll see, serving size is this whole container. And when I make it, you will see, I will probably put a third of this in there. So it's not even going to be, and that's gonna be for the whole, you know, making like three or four meals. So I'm not too worried about that. And then I got some more um, of these Stevia Sweet Drops, the caramel and the vanilla. Those are our favorites. And last but not least, this was there. This is always just a great go-to for lunch, throwing it in a wrap etc. So I'm very excited about these. These are so good in the air fryer. I know a couple of you can't find them or you just recently did and you were very happy with them. I know Nancy, um, she tried them and loved them. One gram of carb. So for three ounces and I've been measuring it for my serving size and three ounces is pretty good. Sometimes I get more because it is low in carb and you know, that's just, if I'm hungry, I'll eat more. So that's everything that I got today. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're interested in seeing that I'm going to make. I'll see what I can do. 
Um, and yeah, I hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.